This is how to work with your crystals intentionally. So once you purchased a crystal at a metaphysical shop or were given one as a gift or stumbled upon one during your travels and you're ready to work with it, what do you do? Well, first I would say cleanse it. Cleanse it of any excess energies it's absorbed during its travels or from its previous handlers or people who've held it. You know, intentionally do that by running it under cold water. You can use some sort of smudge smoke or spray. You can use a selenite wand. You can put it in the sunlight or in the moonlight. Uh, put it in the earth and in, in dirt. And basically what you're doing is you're letting it release any of its excess energies. Then you're going to deepen your connection with it and set an intention for it. I do that by holding it in my dominant hand, which is my right hand, and I'll keep it on me and I will visualize what I'd like that crystal or stone to do for me. Say I found myself drawn towards fluorite because I need some sort of help with mental clarity and focus. So then I will hold that fluorite in my right hand and I will affirm I am focused, I am clear. I will thank the stone for doing that for me, for working with me in that way. And then I will keep it on my person somewhere. I'll put it in my pocket. I'll, I'll keep it close to my body or I'll put it on an altar or some sort of sacred space because now it is charged with that intention. It's almost given a job to do, right? It's going to work with me to bring me clarity, to allow me to activate that within myself. So that's one quick way that you can work with your crystals intentionally. If you want more, check out the blog because there's an article, the 10 best ways to work with crystals in your magical and spiritual work.